As the prominence of national accounts teams and overall distribution strategy continues to increase, it's essential to understand how these groups allocate their time across the various distribution channels. While the Wirehouse channel has been and continues to be the segment receiving the most focus from national accounts managers, other distribution channels such as the TAMPS represent emerging opportunities. I'm Pat Newcomb with Fuse Research, and today we're going to take a few minutes to highlight our recently published National Accounts Benchmark Study and discuss how National Accounts groups expect their channel coverage to change over the next year. Based on our survey of National Accounts leaders, we found that National Accounts groups still dedicate the largest percentage of their time to the Wirehouse channel, with an average of 42%. It's not surprising that the bulk of a National Accounts team's time is dedicated to Wirehouse firms, since they control a large pool of assets concentrated across just four firms. The Wirehouse channel is certainly the most difficult to penetrate and grow assets in, but the rewards can be astronomical, which is reflected in the time being spent there. Independent broker-dealers receive the next highest percentage of time with 26% on average. Large firms dedicated noticeably more time to this channel at 31%, compared to mid-sized firms at 23% and small managers at 21%. At the other end of the spectrum, TAMPs such as InvestNet, SEI, and AssetMark only receive 5% of a national accounts group's time on average. However, these firms are expected to see the greatest increase in coverage by national accounts moving forward, with one-third of teams planning to expand coverage in this channel. Independent broker-dealers will also experience an uptick in attention from national accounts groups, with 30% of firms dedicating more time and resources to this channel. The Wirehouse channel is the only channel that firms plan to dial back coverage for, with 10% of firms planning to spend less time over the next year targeting this opportunity. Key factors driving reduced coverage are competition and the costs associated with distributing in the Wirehouse channel. There are many factors driving the priorities for national accounts teams into 2021. For one, more managers are entering into the model portfolio space where they are building portfolios of mutual funds and ETFs to place on to distributors' platforms. TAMPs are an emerging opportunity for national accounts groups since there has been a growing interest in packaged model portfolios offered on these platforms. Previously, the primary models available on these platforms were proprietary offerings, but with more third-party asset managers delivering their own models, this is changing. National accounts teams can position themselves for success by understanding the needs of the TAMP as well as other channels, and then working with product to help build models that will solve these needs. From the Wirehouse perspective, there are not many expected changes because managers already have a strong understanding of these four firms and where the manager stands with each. For those managers planning to decrease time spent in the Wirehouse channel, this is likely due to either a re-evaluation of the cost required with operating in this channel, or they have recently had several products rationalized from the platforms and will refocus on other opportunities at large broker-dealers outside of the wires. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. If you have any questions about the topic we covered today, or would like to learn more about other topics that are included in the National Accounts Benchmark Study, please let us know. Thanks again and have a great day.